Every release of Art by Marlene products comes with great anticipation, and I'm thrilled to let you know that her Go Dutch collection has arrived and is in stock at the Joggles Warehouse. In today's 5 Minutes of Fun video, I'll show you the two clear stamp sets, the square format journal, and the 4-roll pack of washi tape. Go Dutch includes stamp sets BM55 and 56, this beautiful spiral bound journal that measures about 8 by 8 and includes 20 sheets of 300 GSM watercolor paper and a package of washi tape that includes these four rolls. Since this is intended as a short introduction, I'm going to be really brief, show you the journal page I'm working on and one of the images from the set number 56 that I've stamped and I'm almost finished coloring. So I wanted the washi tape on this page to take center stage and with that in mind I added some color and some spatters and then I just left it at that and added the washi tape. Now these are obviously very much directional. The text reads one way and though the, um, the tulips can be turned either way, in fact they're really meant to be oriented in landscape rather than portrait, but I didn't really care. I like them arranged in both ways. So with that said, this is the emblem that is printed, and the, the rest of the band is here. So this is the emblem that's printed on the band that wraps around the journal when you take it out of the package. And I liked it enough that I figured that I would cut it out and make it the center of this journal page. So I just kind of need to go the rest of the way around here, and I'm a really sloppy cutter-outer. So you'll just bear with me for one second. I probably should have prepped and had a little bit of this, a little bit more rather, of this done. But you can see where I'm going. I have a Dilutions glue stick that I'm going to use to put it in place. And then honestly, I think I'm going to call this page done. The paper is really nice in here. It's not hot press, so it's not super smooth. But it's also not as rough as some cold press watercolor paper is. I'm going to orient this back to me so I don't screw this up. And I think I like this positioned kind of to the top like this. So with a Dilutions glue stick, Good grief. I'm just going to get some glue on this and then go ahead and put it in place. There's a little bit of imagery on the box that the washi tape comes in that's pretty small, but if you were determined, I think you could probably use it too. All right, I like the way that looks. It's not completely centered, which appeals to the asymmetrical part of my nature. And there might be, there just might be, a little bit of stickles in my future that goes here too. So I'm very happy with this just the way that it is. Now let's talk about the stamp that I'm coloring. So this is just on some Canton 90 pound watercolor paper and it is the house from stamp, well, help if those were all the way down, whoops, sorry, wicked glare. It's this house from, or this set of houses from stamp set 56. I have various ink sprays, again I'm going to turn this back toward me, I have various ink sprays in water brushes, so all I'm going to do is find a color to do the trim of the roof here and maybe the step, you don't need to see me do this whole thing, I mean the process is pretty darn straightforward. It really is very much just like coloring, I mean there are places where I did some blending, for example, we go from green to a blend here up to the more turquoisey color. Those things I'll brush blend when things are wet. For something like this, I'm not going to bother. I don't really think it's necessary. So let's maybe do the door here, the pink color, and then I'm not going to do around it because it needs to dry. But this is spiced marmalade, so this will be kind of cool for the windows. It's not really dark enough, so let's grab something else that might be. This is technically orange, but I think we'll get to about the same place. So yeah, that looks fine. Again, I'm going to let all of these elements dry before I come back and add anything else. And in terms of the steps up to the house, I think this is postbox red. I think this looks kind of cool. And then I'm not sure what else I'm going to do, but you can see how easy it is to color this. And once it's dry, you just cut it out and then go ahead and put it in place. So that's set 56. This is set BM55, great windmill, it's got the little figure dressed in a Dutch costume and a bicycle, tulips, kind of all of the things that you'd associate with Holland and Dutch culture. So in addition to these new Go Dutch collection products, the two stamp sets, the washi tape, and this lovely journal, whoops, um, I also grabbed as much of the existing Art by Marlene products as I could get my mitts on. We are as close to fully restocked as we've been in a little while, so come on down to joggles.com to get your Art by Marlene fix.